Okay, so I'm about to change my insulin pump cartridge and I'm using the T-Slim. So first we have my syringe, insulin, empty cartridge. This is a the line or the sight, so I need to change my sight today. And this is a little clippy thing that helps me get out the old cartridge. So first thing I'm gonna do is pop out the old cartridge. So you can see here, sometimes it's easy, sometimes not. <laughs> but I do have moisturizer on my hands, which doesn't help. Pop, okay. So that is the old cartridge and the old line, and that can literally go in the bin. So get rid of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the syringe. Rubbish. It comes in two parts, I think, just for safety. Oh, by the way, I've washed my hands already, but I don't think there's a time during this whole COVID thing that I haven't washed my hands. My hands are getting dry from washing them so much. <laughs> it's scary. Not really. <laughs> so this is just going to draw up my insulin. So I use the Novo Rapid, mm -hmm. and that's the pump just vibrating, telling me oh, there's nothing in here. I know. So I'm just going to fill this up to three mil. Funny before insulin pumps, I'd actually use syringes when I was younger. I always used to think, looks like I'm a drogo. But thankfully, you don't have to do that in public anymore. I can just do this. So there's usually air in there, so I have to just flick it and squirt it up. This is always the fun part. And just keep drawing that insulin. Okay, so that's empty rubbish. And I'm going to pop the lid on. So I'll open my empty brand new uh, cartridge now. And you'll see that there's a little white dot there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the syringe in there. In there. And I'm just gonna draw back just a little bit, just in case there's any air. There shouldn't be, but they do say to do that, just out of precaution. And then just to shoot that air out. Okay, there we go. All the bubbles out, so that is awesome. And then I'm going to put the syringe inside the little cartridge. And I'm going to squirt the insulin into the cartridge. So depending, um, you can fill this up. You don't, it, the maximum is three mils. Um, you can do less, but I like to put the maximum because then I don't have to change it as often because the insulin obviously lasts longer. The cartridge lasts longer. So slowly squeezing that in. You can kind of hear it. There's a little, there's actually a little air bag that fills up in there. That's what that noise is. And then you keep the pressure on and Oh yeah, done. So that syringe is done. I always disconnect before I throw it in the bin. Oh, and that's my pump saying, something's going on, there's no cartridge in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do on the T-Slim, actually, before we do that, I'm going to put the line in. So this is the line that connects from here and then the site attaches to my body and then the insulin gets delivered there. So just going to open this. So what I'm gonna do, and obviously the table's nice and clean as well, is I'm going to attach 
the tubing to the cartridge and just tighten that a lot, really tight, as tight as you can. Then what I'm going to do is pop this in here, slide that in the T-Slim till you hear a click. There we go. Okay, so then on my screen, I will go to load pump. So change cartridge. Are you ready to continue? Yes. Preparing for cartridge, install the cartridge, and then it will just detect that I'm installing a new cartridge. So that goes to 100%. Slowly. <laughs> All right, 100%. So now what I need to do is prime or fill this whole tube, this lead with insulin so then it can start delivering insulin to me. So they say to hold it upright just so any air bubbles can come up. So I'm going to start and you start filling. This takes a long time. You start filling until you see insulin come through and until you see three drops come out of this. So I'll tell you when it's done. Oh, see the drops. Okay, so I saw three drops, so I press stop. So when you see three drops come forward, you can press stop, but what I like to do is quickly, it's kind of hard to tell because the tube is clear and, and it's just hard to tell, especially when there's a white table in front, is just to go along and check that there's no other air bubbles in there. If there is, I can just prime it some more, let more insulin go through. But that actually looks pretty clear, yay! So then I press filled tube, done, and tick, awesome. I'll be placing this on my butt, my butt. <laughs> so I'm not gonna video me putting that in. <laughs> okay, so I changed my mind and I, just for the sake of showing you, I'll put this in my stomach today. Mind you, I don't think I've ever exposed my stomach ever um, in public, let alone on social media, so no judgments. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm going to put this in on my stomach. So again, I'm gonna show you, just take off that plastic seal and take off this little protector. Then you're gonna draw this back till you hear a click. All right, and so you see that that's flat. There's no syringe sticking out. And I'm gonna place this on my skin, press it, and that's when the site will go in. So let's just, now I've got my G6 here, so I'm gonna put this somewhere away from that. And I'm gonna put, you can see I've got little scars from my other sites, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm, I just, I don't know why I count to three. One, two, three. Yep, push it in, boom. That's the needle that actually goes in uh, just to put the cannula in and that's what comes out. So now I'm ready to go. Woo! <laughs>